For decades he has been known only as a man frozen in death, a face without peace, rigid and inscrutable, with deep wells of darkness beneath his lidded eyes. Now, for the first time, the face of the mysterious Somerton man, whose body was found lying on an Adelaide beach in 1948, has been revealed in life. Photos of Charles Webb, who was recently linked to the Somerton man by DNA and genealogical testing, show him smiling and playing a prank on one of his relatives. Taken in the 1920s, they were found in a musty photo album kept in a backroom by the Webb family, which has now been shared with Australian Story. Within its pages were the answers to questions that had gripped experts and amateur sleuths alike for 74 years, who was the Somerton man and what did he look like? Until recently, the Webb family had no idea of their connection to the long-running mystery, though there were stories of a missing family member many years before. The news came from Professor Derek Abbott of Adelaide University, who has been researching the case for many years and carried out DNA tests on a hair from the body of the Somerton man. The finding is yet to be verified by the South Australian police. After finding a positive match with members of the Webb family, who'd put their family tree on a genealogical website, Professor Abbott contacted Stuart Webb, who he believed was the great-grandson of the Somerton Mons brother. Professor Abbott asked me if I was related to Norman Webb, who's my grandfather, and that led to a whole series of questions about my heritage and whether there's any photos or family histories that I can recall," Stewart told Australian Story. With the help of his aunt Julie, Stewart found the photo album put together by his late grandparents. It took only 10 minutes to spot a family group photo which possibly contained an image of Charles. It showed 19 smiling faces of all ages at a fantastic family day, it looks to be somewhere rural, and it looks like they're having fun, Stuart.